Welcome back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Uh, today it finally arrived. Um, just a very, very small parcel. Uh, for some reason, this decided to uh, do the rounds and go around Australia. So, like, this was only, you know, two states over. Should have taken two days, maybe three days at the very most. Uh, for some stupid reason. Yeah, as I said, decided to take a trip around and it took about two weeks um so yeah sometimes it happens unfortunately but it's here that's the main thing um and we're gonna open it for a mad mail call uh so let's get stuck into it and i'll show you what i actually picked up get out my trusty hoarder's hide knife uh now let's see what the best way get into this All right, so this is some more books that I picked up off one of my uh, Facebook comic groups uh, here in Australia. I said it, it's very hard when you sort of get, you get the notification saying, you know, somebody's you know posted a an auction sale or a buy it now sale and things like that, and you know you. You see the note, you click on it quickly and you have a quick look and you're like, you know, most of the time you can sort of say, nah, I don't, I don't really want any of those books. There might be one or two books and you, you try and, well, for me personally, I try and look at it and go, you know, I'd rather get quite a few unless there's obviously a, uh, a big book that I can try and get cheap, um, which doesn't happen very often. But... Um, yeah, I try if if it's if they've got like you know, hundred, two hundred, three hundred books on there, um, and it's all the sort of stuff that I want, then I'll try and make sure I have some money aside, and uh, you know try and try and bid on a few books, but don't you know don't go outside my means, obviously. Um, and this was sort of one of those cases. Um, obviously, you know, I've tr I'm trying to, you know chase down some keys that are on my comic wish list, uh, try to fill some runs uh, that I've been trying to, you know, complete or at least put a dent in. Yeah. These particular books here is a little bit of both, uh, but the majority of it was sort of chasing keys. Um, I unfortunately wasn't able to get any of the slightly bigger ones that I wanted. Um, wasn't any sort of like, you know, real like, you know, couple of thousand dollar book sort of keys or anything like that. But there was, uh, there was a few in there that are on my list that I wanted to get. Um, I did from, if I remember rightly, I did get one of the books that was on my list. The rest of them are sort of just minor sort of keys. Uh, but all these books are Uncanny X-Men books. Um, nothing super old, unfortunately, because, as you know, if you've watched my channel before, you know what I love. You know I love my Silver and my Bronze Age stuff. Um, I did... Oh. Did I get an extra book in here? I think I might have got an extra book in here. Uh... Yeah, I think I actually did. Um, well, there you go. Uh, hopefully I haven't got it. Um, but yeah, these are all X-Men books. They're mainly Copper Age books. Nothing, you know, silver or bronze, unfortunately. Um, there were a couple in there, but I got outbid and, and lost them. Um, but that's that's how it works. So uh, let's go through it, show you what I actually picked up. So Uncanny X-Men 191. which is actually the first appearance of Nimrod, which is like a sort of android sort of villain. Um, so very cool. Just a, just a minor sort of key. Like Nimrod has, has shown up from what I know quite a few times. So it's not as if he's just a one and done sort of villain. Uh, I did pick up this, one of those awesome sort of covers that was done in the, uh, in the 80s, the, uh, the border ones. Uh, so that is actually the first full team appearance of the Marauders. 
So another nice little uh, minor key there. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 215, which is the first appearance of all those three characters on the front. So Stonewall, Super Sabre, and Crimson Commando. Don't know whether they ever really amounted to anything or whether they were just a one and done, but picked it up nice and cheap, so which was good. Uh, got Uncanny X-Men 235. This is the actual first appearance of the paradise or the mutant paradise known as Genosha, uh, which was basically, as far as from what my recollection is, uh, Magneto actually created it or found it and, and ruled it, things like that. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 251 with that iconic, iconic Mark Silvestri cover. Uh, this book here, I'm not quite, this is the one that was an extra, uh, Uncanny X-Men 249, I don't know whether there's any significance to that book or not, but always good to get free books, I, I might have paid for it, I'm not 100% sure, but if I don't have it, awesome. Uh, now this was the book, uh, that was the one that I was really, or one of the ones I was really going after. I know you guys in the States, you know, could find this book for $10, $20, $30 over here. I'm not so lucky. I've never been able to find it for less than about $100, even in a raw, even in a rough raw. Um, and I actually got this for a fairly reasonable price. I can't remember what I paid, maybe $30, $40 Australian, something like that. So, it's super, super happy because this is actually one of my favourite X-Men villains. Uh, the book is Uncanny X-Men... 221, the first full appearance of Mr. Sinister. So yeah, as I said, one of, one of my favourite um, X-Men villains. So yeah, super, super happy to finally have that in the collection and cross that off the comic wish list. So that will do for this particular video. Thank you once again for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, if you have any more information on any of these books that you'd like to share with me, Leave a comment in the you know description below. Uh, sorry, well, you know in the comment section below. You know what I mean. Um, and yeah, let me know if I missed anything, especially obviously that uh, two forty nine book. I think it was that. Yeah, I may or may not have paid for. Um, but yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Obviously, do the usual YouTube stuff as I mentioned. Leave a comment if you wish to. Hit the thumbs up, and most of all, if you're not subscribed, please, please do so. I'm slowly, slowly trying to get to that 500 subs. I'm only, I think, 14 or 15 away, and it just seems to be taking a long time. But that's all right. I'll get there when I get there. So once again, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And Spidey out.